Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about uh, Biden's recent speech and a term he used and whether or not that term was appropriate. And we're also going to talk about a girlfriend setting up her boyfriend. Um, because I was sent this message and I find it very humorous. So I'm just going to read the whole thing. I was introduced to your channel by my girlfriend when Russia invaded Ukraine. When I asked her about this, she told me to send you a message and ask you. I'm totally aware that I'm being set up right now, so please be gentle. I'm wondering what you think of Biden using the term semi-fascism in his speech. Is that appropriate or is it just political positioning? Okay, so one of the problems in the United States is that when that term is used, people, people picture a very specific subset of them that wear armbands, right? Germany, World War II, that crew. That's who they picture. Now, don't get me wrong. Those people, yeah, they're fascists. But not all fascists are them. They're not interchangeable. Um, so that's one starting point and something to kind of mull over. Now, that ideology has characteristics, and there are two people that have talked about this that I think are really good. One is uh, Lawrence Britt, and the other is Umberto Eco. Now, I have videos uh, detailing using both lists. Um, the thing is, you can find them searching my name in either the number 14 or the word characteristics because those those things normally ended up in the title. And there's a bunch of them from Trump's time in office. Um, because the, yeah, it's appropriate. The only thing that isn't appropriate about the use of that term is the addition of semi. I mean, that's what Trumpism is. It's just an Americanized version of it. So, it, it's not inaccurate. It is political positioning, but it's not inaccurate political positioning. If you're really just kind of wanting to get a view of it, I would probably suggest you start with a video titled, Let's Talk About Trump's Accomplishments. And it goes through a list of six things that Trump supporters are going to be like, yes, that's my guy. And then one thing that they'll be like, yeah, that's not so great. But yeah, he definitely does that. Then six things that they're like, yes, that's my guy. And then one more thing that they would begrudgingly admit. 14 items. Those 14 items are the 14 characteristics of fascism. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a good idea politically because it may be, uh, it, it may be too much coming from Biden because Biden has been known to be very, very mellow in his rhetoric and accurate or not throwing out that term is going to uh, bother people. I, myself, would like to see, I would like to see, see things called what they are. When it comes to stuff like that, I think it's important for people to understand what they're dealing with. Um, I don't know if that's true of the rest of the United States. So whether or not it's a good idea, that's up in the air. Because when you're talking about how the average voter is going to respond to that statement, I don't know. I, I don't know. But as far as the characteristics, the, the general philosophy, the undertones, the structure, the goals, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's an accurate term. As disturbing as it might be. So, 
Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.